the first case is body resting on inclined plane the force applied about horizontal then friction force is opposite direction weight acting downward normal reaction upward so we have to write the horizontal equation and vertical equation so this is the first case the second case is body resting on the inclined plane you can see here now what is the difference between these two force p applied at an angle of theta so what we did the weight acting downward so we have to write all the forces then there is a normal reaction so when you apply force p it will be moving towards right side so the friction force is in the opposite direction then because it is an inclined force we have to write the force components of p so that is p cos theta p sin theta then so you have to apply equilibrium equations sigma x is 0 sigma v is 0 you have to solve so here also we have to write the forces horizontal forces so you see the difference between these two cases it is a horizontal force here it is a inclined force here. now the third case is inclined plane body this angle is theta we know its weight acting downward then there is a normal reaction which is acting towards what direction if this angle is theta this is also theta the force p applied parallel to inclined plane then the friction force is opposite to the body motion in this direction then we have to write the components that is w cos theta this component w sin then we have to write the horizontal equilibrium equation vertical equilibrium equation then we have to solve this next in the fourth case you see the diagram body resting on inclined plane its weight acting downward let this angle is theta then normal reaction is towards upward so this angle is theta then we have written the components of weights w so that is w cos theta and this component is w sin theta now in the fourth case the force applied uh, inclined to this plane so we are just revising all the cases so that it will be clear and you will find the difference between all the problems also let this is theta then we have to write the components of this p this is a p cos theta p sin theta then in the force p applied in this direction body moving to the right side so friction force will be acting towards side. so this is the fourth case you see the difference between the third problem and fourth problem three the force p is applied along the inclined plane and then now fourth the force p is inclined to the inclined so now here it is horizontal here also it is horizontal but for this what we did is we took x axis y axis in this direction so instead of writing horizontal vertical so we have to write sum of all the forces about x about y which we already written in the previous lecture now for this also we have to write sum of all forces about x equal to 0 
sum of all forces about y equal to 0. Where is x, y? x is in this direction, y is in this direction. That is fourth problem. Now, in the last problem, that is fifth one, the diagram is like this inclined plane, body resting on inclined plane. This is the horizontal plane. So now you see the force. Here force applied parallel to inclined plane, force applied inclined to inclined plane. Now in this case, the force P is applied parallel to the horizontal plane. So that is only the difference. Then the remaining forces are same. We know weight acting downward, then normal reaction is upward, this angle is theta, this angle is theta, then so we have to write the components of this force that is W cos theta is about this line, about this line will be W sin theta, then we have written components of force also. So, if this is theta, this is also theta because it is a same horizontal line. This line is parallel to inclined plane. It is a horizontal force. It is also horizontal line. So, this is theta. This angle is also theta. Now, forces components were written P cos theta and this direction P sin theta. Now, coming to the friction force. In the force P applied in this direction, the F will be acting towards this side. We have to write the forces about X means this is X axis, this is Y axis. So you have to write implementation equations. So this is the summary of all five problems. That is, this is problem number one, two, three. 4, 5. So, in all 5 cases, how to solve the problem and how the force is applied and all these things we have seen. So, this will be clear. It will clear all 5 problems which we did previous and you can see the difference between each and every problem also.